What up, what up, what up? Original Lone Wolf coming at y'all real quick, man. Um, I'm going to break some more of this shit down for y'all um, so you guys can understand completely what's going on here. Um, let's go to 26. No, 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 no. Fuck that. Let's go back. Let's go to 31 USC 321. Excuse me, y'all. 321. And we're going to read D1 and D2 when we get there. All right. So let's scroll down to D1 and we're going to scroll down to D2. All right. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, this going to be this probably going to be the one of the last videos I make about the Internal Revenue Service because I feel like I've given and notice I say given with a capital G you all enough information to at least be able to ask questions. I'm not telling you to, to jump off the 30th floor and shit without a parachute or a hang glider or anything like that. I'm saying to be able to ask questions, to write letters to your fucking state legislators or to write letters to 1111 Constitutional Avenue and, and reach out to the current fucking IRS commissioner. All right. This is Title 31, which is the Treasury Department. All right. You know, the Treasury Department work hand in hand with the IRS. One is like a glove. The other one is like fingers. All right. <sighs> 31 USC 321 subsection D1 tells you the secretary of the Treasury may accept, hold, administer and use gifts and bequests of property, both real and personal, for the purpose of aiding or facilitating the work of the Department of Treasury uh, gifts and bequests of money and the proceeds for sales of other property received as gifts or bequests shall be deposited in the treasury in a separate fund and shall be dispersed in order uh, of the secretary of treasury property accepted under this paragraph and the proceeds thereof shall be used as nearly as possible in accordance with the terms of the gift or bequest section d2 for purposes of the federal income estate and gift tax property accepted under paragraph one shall be considered a gift or a bequest to or for the use of the United States. All of these are taxes for the purpose of federal income tax, estate tax and gift taxes. Are y'all not seeing this? You got a comma after all of them, federal income, comma, estate, comma, and gift tax. Property accepted under paragraph one shall be considered as a gift. What part of this are you all not seeing on the screen right now that tell you your federal income taxes is a gift? What is wrong with y'all? Oh, my God. All right, let's go to another one. Let's go to 26... We gonna put this shit to bed, man. If y'all don't get this after this here, man, I don't know what else to fucking tell y'all. Twenty six USC, uh, sixty three thirty one, section A. Authority of the secretary. They're talking about the secretary of the treasury. All right. If any person liable to pay any tax neglect to or refuse to pay the same within 10 days after notice and demand, it shall be lawful for the secretary of the treasury to collect such tax and such further sum as shall be sufficient to cover the expenses of the levy by levy upon all property and rights to property except such property as exempt under section 6334 belonging to such person or an or on which there is a lien provided in this chapter for the payment of such tax. Levy may be made upon the accrued salary or wages of any officer, comma, employee, comma, or elected official of the United States, the District of Columbia, or any agency or instrumentality of the United States or the District of Columbia. Now, let me go and open up a separate window for you fucking people, man, because I get tired of cross-referencing this shit with y'all. Let me see. 26, 28 USC 3002 uh, subsection 15A. Now, read this shit. Scroll down to 15A. I'm getting so tired of this shit. United States means a federal corporation, an agency, department, commission, board, or other entity of the United States or an instrumentality of the United States. What in the fuck are y'all not getting? 
Now I'm gonna go back over here again because I'm gonna scroll back to the top so you can see it. If you all want to know who is responsible for paying taxes, you must go to 26 USC 6331 section A. And I'm gonna read this fucking shit again. Authority of the secretary. They're talking about the secretary of the treasury. Right now, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's still Janet Yellen. If any person liable to pay any tax, neglects, or refuse to pay the same within 10 days at the notice and demand, it shall be lawful for the secretary to collect such tax, and such further sum shall be sufficient to cover the expenses of the levy. By levy upon all property and rights to property, except such property as exempt under section 6334, belonging to such person or on which there is a lien provided in these in this chapter for the payment of such levy levy may be made upon the accrued salary or wages of any officer employee or elected official of the united states the government i mean the district of columbia or any agency or instrumentality of the united states or the district of columbia by serving a notice of levy on the employer as defined under section 3401 uh, subsection d or such officer employee or elected official if the secretary makes a finding that the collection of such taxes in jeopardy, notice and demand for immediate payment of such uh, tax may be made by the secretary and upon failure or refusal to pay such tax collection thereof by levy shall be lawful re without regard to the 10 day period provided in this section. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with y'all, but I'm going to keep going, man, because like I said, this is going to be the last motherfucking time I make a video about this shit. Let me see what else. Let me. I got a bunch of these motherfuckers, but I want to point out the, the juicy shit. <sighs> okay, let's go to 26. 26 USC 7408. Subsection D. So we're going to scroll down to D. B. Damn, did I go to the right one? 74A. Wait a minute. Oh, there it is. My bad, y'all. Citizens and residents outside of the United States. If any citizen or resident of the United States does not reside in the if any citizen or resident of the United States does not reside and does not have his principal uh, place of business in any United States judicial district, such citizen or resident shall be treated for the purpose of this section as residing in the District of Columbia. How many fucking times have I told y'all and how many times have Red told y'all that the United States only consider, well, Red only, he, Red brings up Washington, D.C., and he's correct. All right, Jim Red Wolf brings up Washington, D.C. He's 100% correct, but I'm going to take it a fucking step further than Red Wolf. It's not just Washington, D.C. It's Guam, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, or American Samoa. The reason for why I'm reading fucking 26 U.S.C. 7408 subsection D is to show you that there is more than one United States. It says if any citizen or resident of the United States, right, they talking about motherfucking foreigners who come here that don't live in Washington, D.C. They talking about people who derive their income from the United States, but they don't live within Washington, D.C. This is what they're talking about. They say if any citizen or resident of the United States does not reside and does not have his principal place of business in any United States judicial district, Washington, D.C., Guam, Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. It say in um such citizen or resident shall be treated for the purpose of this section of residing in the District of Columbia. You know why? Because the District of Columbia is the United States. Now, here's another juicy one. Let's go to a code of federal regulation. 26 CFR 1.871. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. 1.871. I got big hands, man. Y'all got to forgive me. Dash one. Okay. So we're going to scroll down to A. It says, classes of aliens. For purpose of the income tax, alien individuals are divided generally into two classes, na namely resident alien and non-resident alien. This is how they get you. 
Because the minute you hear alien, you're like, motherfucker, I'm not a foreigner. But in reality, you are a non-resident alien. But anyway, it says it's, it's generally into two classes, resident alien and non-resident alien. Resident alien individuals are in general taxable the same as citizens of the United States. That is, a resident alien is taxable on income derived from sources, including sources without the United States. See section 1.1-1B. Non-resident aliens are taxable only on certain income from sources within the United States and on income described in section 864C4 from sources without the United States, which is connected, connected with the taxable year from um, a taxable year with the conduct of a trade or a business in the United States. I already told y'all what the fucking definition of a trade or a business is. It's the motherfucker who hold a public office. Do you goddamn need me to go back? Do you need me to go back to it? Now, let's click on trade or business. Oh, no, wait. Let me see. Trade or business means a trade or business within the meaning of the section. Okay, so now we got to go back to 7701A. 70, hold on. I'm opening up another window so you guys can fully understand this shit. 26 USC 7701. These are the fucking definitions. Let's scroll down to trade or business. You got person, partnership, and uh partner, corporation, domestic, foreign, fiduciary, stock, shareholder, United States, states, secretary of treasury, uh, secretary in general, hold on, keep going, withholding agent, keep going, come on, this is a long ass section, employee, come on now y'all, where the fuck is, there it is. You see that section 26? What does that tell you? Now, this is under their fucking definitions, man. This is the reason for why, like I said, man, now this shit pissed me off because I give y'all this fucking information for free. And although the only thing that I suggest y'all do is ask questions, I still give y'all this information for free. I'm not trying to tell y'all what the fuck to do. The only suggestion I have is if you are really interested in this shit that I'm putting out, write these people a letter and ask them a question. Write your fucking state legislators and ask them, what does this shit mean? write 1111 Constitutional Avenue and, 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 and address it to the current IRS commissioner and ask him, um, excuse me, sir, can you explain to me what 26 USC 7701 subsection 26 mean? The term trade or business include the performance and functions of a public office. I'm getting so fucking tired of this shit, I don't know what to do, man. Uh-oh, let me go back. So now, let's go back to here. It's a... I'm going to start, I'm going to take it from the top. It says, for purposes of the income tax, alien individuals are generally, uh, alien individuals are divided generally into two classes, namely resident alien and non-resident alien. So those are the two classes. Resident alien individuals are in general taxable as the same as citizens of the United States. That is, a resident alien is taxable on income derived from sources, from all sources, including sources without the United States. So in other words, if you are a foreigner, you got to pay taxes, period. Okay, it's a income derived from sources, including sources without the United States, C section uh, 1.1-1B. Non-resident alien individuals are taxable only on certain income from sources within the United States, from within the United States. Keep in mind, District of Columbia, Guam, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands. If you move to Puerto Rico tomorrow, you got to pay taxes. It's a non-resident aliens are taxable only on certain income from sources within the United States and the income described in section 864C4 from sources without the United States which is effectively connected for the taxable year with the conduct of a, of a trade or a business in other words they telling your motherfucking ass that Joe Biden gotta pay taxes he holds a public office it say however however this is the big part how However, non-resident alien individuals may, may, that means they're giving you permission. You may elect under section 6013G or H to be treated as a U.S. resident for the purpose of determining income tax liability under chapter seven, under chapter one and 24 of the code. You know how a motherfucking non-resident alien can elect to become a U.S. taxpayer, 
by fouling a motherfucking 1040. All right? You motherfuckers gonna stop playing with me. Y'all gonna stop playing with me with this filthy ass, pussy ass, punk ass fucking shit that y'all be on. Sending me fucking comments in my section and can't even bag none of this motherfucking shit up. Get the fuck out of here with this. I'm gonna do another one. Hold on, because I'm reading, y'all. I'm reading one of my affidavits that I've sent. Hold on. Okay, let's do this one. This is another spicy one. Hold on, man, because I'm so fucking tired of you niggas, man. Are you fucking monkeys? I don't know what the fuck to do. Give me one second. I ain't got no damn light. I had to close my blinds and shit because I was fucking with Red Wolf and um, this group text we be doing when he uh, posted that shit about Frankie Lyman. All right, hold on. I got my light back. Let me look this shit up. This is some more spicy shit right here. I show motherfucking irrefutable proof. And you right, Rondo. I ain't finna be arguing with these motherfucking monkeys. Because I'm telling you, when it come down to this tax shit, bro, this is the last motherfucking video I'm making about this shit. If you niggas don't get this enough to even be interested in reading and, and this shit for yourself and being willing to write a letter to ask questions, then fuck them. And fuck these niggas, man. It's just that simple. Now, let's go to 26 CFR. Um, 26 CFR 31.21. And we're going to go to E1. Okay. So let's scroll down to E1. I'm so sick and tired of you motherfuckers, man. I don't know what the fuck to do. Come on now, E1. Come on now. Come on. Damn, did I pass it? Damn. Hold on, y'all. This is another long-ass title. Chapter, I mean. I think I passed it. Hold on. Let me make sure I'm at the right one. 26 CFR 31. 2-1, yeah, so I, I passed it, y'all, my bad. Okay, that's A, B, C, D. Okay, yeah, I did pass it. Hold on. Oh, damn. Where the fuck did it go? Hold on, let me look at this one. D2. Hold on. Okay, here we go. My bad. <sighs> when used in, and I'm looking at section A. When used in the regulation in this subpart, the term states include the District of Columbia, the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, the Territory of Alaska, and Hawaii before admissions as states. And when used at respect to services performed after 1960, Guam and American Samoa. So what in the fuck are y'all talking about? Section B, when used in regulation in this subpart, the term United States, when used in a geographical sense, means the several states, including the territories of Alaska, Hawaii, before admissions of states, the District of Columbia, the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands. Like how I said, for anybody that's described, that's subscribed to Jim Rail Wolf channel, he tell you niggas all the time that the United States don't go no further than Washington, D.C., and he's 100% correct. And like how I said, all I'm doing is piggybacking off this nigga. It's not just Washington, D.C., uh, uh, Jim Rail Wolf. It's also Guam, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, American Moor, uh, Samoa, uh, and, and I'm fucking reading the shit to you. If motherfucking Jim Red Wolf packed his bags right now and moved to fucking Puerto Rico, any type of revenue he generate while he over there, he must pay taxes. And that's something he can't get out of, American Indian or not. He can't get out of it. If a motherfucker packed up tomorrow and moved to Guam, the minute you start making money in Guam, you got to pay fucking taxes. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with these goddamn monkeys. Here it is. Not only you niggas monkeys, you niggas are monkeys that are incapable from swinging from a tree to go to show you the type of motherfucking monkey you are. Now, let's look at another one. Let's go to 26 CFR. Oh, no, this is another United States code. Let's go to 26 USC. Twenty six USC 3401. Oh, excuse me, guys. I apologize. Um, what section is that? Section C, my bad. That's B, that's C. It says for services for an employer 
other than the United States of agency performed by the citizen of the United States within Puerto Rico as reason. Well, no, 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 that's not it. Hold on. In the hell? Where in the fuck did I put this shit? Okay, 26 U.S.C. 3401 Section C. Yeah, that's right. So what the fuck, man? Oh, you know what? My bad. My bad, y'all. Hold on. Okay, here it is. Section C. For the purpose of this chapter, the term employee includes an officer, employee, or elected official of the United States. So when you motherfuckers are on these jobs talking about you an employee, if your motherfucking ass is not an elected official, you are not a goddamn employee. I get so fucking tired of hearing people say this stupid shit and don't know what the fuck they talking about. For the purpose of this chapter, the term employee includes, that means anything that comes out that includes is what it is. For the purpose of this chapter, the term employee includes an officer, employee, or elected official of the United States, a state, or any political subdivision, any political subdivision thereof, or the District of Columbia, or any agency instrumentality of any other more of the foregoing. The term employee also includes an officer of the corporation. So that means the CEOs of these motherfucking corporations, they are considered employees. So how in the fuck based off of this? And this is coming from Title 26 of the Internal Revenue Code. This is their shit. This is not me and my feelings. I'm not being fucking emotional right now. All I'm giving to you is what the tax people give to you in black and fucking white. Based off what you just read right here, how in the fuck are you an employee if you don't fall under one of these goddamn categories? Are you the goddamn uh, um, 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 uh, CEO of a company? It say uh, the term employee also includes an officer of the corporation. Officers of corporations are like CEOs, CFOs. So are you a CFO? No. Are you a CEO? No. Uh, are you an employee or an uh, officer or an elected official of the United States? No. Well, then how in the fuck are you an employee? Now, I'm going to do one more and I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Let me do one more. I did that one already in another video. Uh, let me see. Hang on, y'all. Hang on, give me one second. Here it is. Motherfuckers don't even know. That you can be arrested for impersonating a United States citizen. And then I sit up here and I tell a motherfucker I'm not a United States citizen and they get a fucking attitude. But anyway, let me do one more real quick and I'm going to get up out of here because I'm not ready to spend too much time on this fucking stupid shit. We'll go back to the Code of Federal Regulations. 26 CFR. 26 CFR. E1, wait, 3, 3-1 point, my bad, y'all, y'all gotta forgive me, we're going back to the same motherfucking joint we was just at, and we're gonna go to E1B, 26 CFR 3-1 dot, 3 one E1B, that's D1, D2, this is E1B. So we're going to go down to B. Uh oh. Yeah, it's a. No, wait. Hold on. Um, E1. Yeah, that's E1. E1A and E1B. Oh, I read that one. All right. I already, I already read this one. My fault. But it, what it's talking about is. No, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I'm kind of confusing myself here. Nope, nope, that's not the one. Oh, my bad. My fault. We'll do this one. I do apologize, guys. This shit is irritating, though. 
And I'm, I'm sick and tired of it, man. I'm around people every motherfucking day that's terrified of the IRS. Like, the shit just fucking blows the fuck out of me. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to go back to 7701, and we're going to go down to 814. Um, 81234. Let's go down to 14. It says the term taxpayer means a person, any person subjected to any internal revenue tax. It's a any person that's subjected to any internal revenue tax. I just explained to you guys who the fucking people that are subjected to these taxes. Resident aliens and people who hold public offices are the fucking people that are supposed to pay taxes. I'm here in Illinois. J.B. Prisca is the government, the governor. The governor holds a public uh, office. He's supposed to pay taxes. Right along with all of your state legislators, okay? Whether if they be Republicans or whether or not if they be Democrats, they all are supposed to pay fucking taxes. Even your aldermen are supposed to pay taxes. Even the fucking mayor are supposed to pay taxes. You know why? Because they are instrumentalities of the United States. I hope this helped y'all, but as I said before, I'm not making no motherfucking more videos about this tax shit. It's either you all get this enough to be motivated to want to look into this for yourself, and then after you look into it for yourself, it's up to you to say, well, you know, I may need some more clarification. I might need to, you know, and it's up to you at that point to get your ass and sit down somewhere and write some fucking letters and, and ask questions, and you send them to who you think could possibly answer them. It's up to y'all, man. It's the original Longwood, man. I'm done with this goofy shit. Y'all, y'all enjoy the rest of y'all week.